Hi, it's Dr. Janelle Sinclair here, and I just wanted to wish you a very Merry Christmas and blessings on you and your family as you move into 2020. Thanks so much for your support of this YouTube channel and of me and all the wonderful questions that you've been um, leaving me and the wonderful comments. It's just so encouraging. In this video, I wanted to say thank you. Thanks again. But I also wanted to give you a little tip for Christmas. So this one little habit, this one little mistake may be impacting your mood um, I know that a lot of you having your kids at home already, that school has stopped, especially here in New Zealand, we have a six week holiday. And so the kids are at home and maybe like me, you've been a bit more irritable. I mean, there's a lot of stress going on at Christmas and lots of things to do and deadlines to meet. Um, but there may actually be one mistake that you're making that could be really impacting you and making you more irritable, having your energy levels sapped. Or maybe it's keeping you awake at night. I wonder if you're making this little mistake like, unfortunately, I have in the last week. So what is this mistake? Well, you would have heard me talk about this many of times, but it's eating sugar. Okay, I'm not against sugar and I'm not against, treat, against treats, but unfortunately sugar impacts our blood sugars. But the problem is when you eat sugar, your blood sugar comes up and then it goes back down. And if you're someone that suffers with reactive hyperglycemia or low blood sugars, you can blood sugars can go too low. And then the body's like, what do I do? So it gives you some adrenaline to release more sugar back into your bloodstream um, because your brain needs um, glucose and sugar to function. So, But the problem is with this adrenaline, and you may have watched one of my videos about um, blood sugars and anxiety. And if you want to know more about this and what's happening in your body, make sure that you check that out. But... The problem is that I've been eating a few extra lollies here and there and and even just skipping my, not skipping, but not having my good breakfast that I would normally have. And this has really impacted my blood sugars and I've been a bit more irritable, to be honest. And I don't want you to make this mistake over Christmas. So here's a few tips to make you, help you avoid these blood sugars. Number one, these low blood sugars and the increased anxiety and adrenaline rushes that can occur and even panic attacks because of you eating sugar. Okay, so here's a few little tips that I have. Number one, just try not to eat sugar altogether. But I know that's really hard right now. So reduce it as much as you can. If you still want to indulge a little bit, number two, my suggestion is that probably chocolate's going to be better than straight um, lollies and sugar or sweets, whatever you want to call it, because chocolate has got a little bit of fat in it as well. So it's going to help stabilize your blood sugar just a little bit more than pure sugar or, or lollies or sweets. Okay. Number three, what you could do is make sure you only eat sugar or your sweets after a meal because the protein and the fat in a meal would um, be helping stabilize your blood sugars and, and help you tolerate any sweets at Christmas. Okay, my other suggestion is what you shouldn't do, and that's definitely, definitely, definitely don't eat sugar for breakfast, okay? Um, avoid those crepes, avoid those um, French toast with loads of maple syrup on it, but have a good protein-packed, um, breakfast maybe with a smoothie with some collagen powder in it or maybe some eggs and that will help stabilize your blood sugar for the day so make sure you don't skip breakfast and definitely don't eat any sweets first thing okay and I'm just wondering if I have any other tips for you um, if you do um, notice that your blood sugars is coming up and then dropping really quickly and you have increased anxiety or irritability if you're feeling in that zone reach for some protein okay maybe make yourself a protein um, 
smoothie or maybe eat some nuts because it's got protein and fat in it as well try to um yeah stabilize and bring your blood sugars up again so they can avoid that anxiety attack so i hope these five tips i think it is is helpful they're just off the top of my head today i'm busy with christmas too but um i look forward to releasing more videos in the new year i know that i've um has taken some time off and I've been doing a creating an online course so I will be releasing that in the new year so check that out and if you want to register your interest go to drjanelsinclair.com forward slash ecourse and have uh, an amazing Christmas and new year make sure that you take some time to really um, refresh yourself do the things that nourish you and nourish your soul and nourish your body. I'll see you next year. Thanks again.